Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, and this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Kay Huggins, and I'm the parish associate at Second Presbyterian Church in Albuquerque. I'm glad you're joining us for this week of outdoor morning prayers. If it's your first time, relax. I do most of the work. We'll share two scripture lessons, one from the Psalms and one from the farewell discourse of Jesus from the Gospel of John. Then we'll join in prayers for Tuesday. Following that, there are a few petitions that have been set forwarded from Second, folks, Second Church folks. They'll share in the Lord's Prayer a final blessing, and our service will take about 15 minutes. So let us be called to get to worship by words from Scripture. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. From Psalm 74. You created the day and the night, O God. You set the sun and the moon in their places. You set the limits of the earth. You made summer and winter. Our psalm for today is Psalm 98 another psalm of praise for God's glory and wonder, but this psalm is unique. In the first three verses, one word, a powerful word, uh, occurs three times. The word is salvation. Listen. Sing a new song to the Lord, who has done wonderful deeds whose right hand and whose holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made salvation known. The Lord has shown justice to the nations and remembered the house of Israel in faithfulness and love. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. Sing praise to the Lord, all the earth. Ring out your joy. Sing praise to Yahweh with the harp and with sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the Lord. Let the sea and all within it resound, the world and all its people. Let the rivers clap their hands and the mountains ring out their joy at the presence of the just judge who comes to judge the earth. The Lord will rule the world with justice and the people with faithfulness. After affirming the saving activity of God, the psalmist paints a word picture of creation rejoicing, sea and river, mountains and hills. They join the chorus of choirs and harps and trumpets and horns. And at the climax, God appears as a just and fair judge, ready to rule all creation. Praise the Lord. The Gospel of John continues on the reading from John 14. Now Jesus begins with a lesson and a pledge. I will not leave you orphaned. And he continues to direct the disciples in the way they must go. Listen to this section from John 14, verses 18 through the end of the chapter. I will not leave you orphaned. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will see me no longer, but you will see me. Because I live, you will also live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by, by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus answered him, 
Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not love my words, and the word that you heard is not mine, but it's from the Father who sent me. Yes, I have said these things to you while I am with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I am going to the Father and because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it takes place so that you may believe when it does occur. I will no longer talk much with you. For the ruler of this world is coming, but he has no power over me. I do as the Father commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. But rise, let us be on our way. If this is the word of the Lord, God is always faithful to the reading and the hearing and the doing of the word. But now it's time to say our prayers. Let us pray. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your grace, and the new life you give in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for the love of our families, the affection of our friends, strength and abilities to serve you, this community in which we live, and opportunities to give as we have received. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others and commit ourselves to serve them even as we have been served in Jesus Christ. Especially we pray to those closest to us, family, friends, neighbors, for refugees, and men, women, and children without homes, for the outcast and the persecuted, for those from whom we are estranged. And today we ask your particular blessing on the church in Africa. Holy God, as the season of Easter enfolds us in rejoicing, we pause to give thanks for your faithfulness to us. We thank you for the courage you give daily to those who are asked to make difficult decisions, particularly those in government. For those who work in the medical profession whose work is critical, and for all who seek to serve others while keeping themselves safe as well. Bless all the efforts for peace, healing, and health that you inspire and use. We know that life goes on in the midst of pandemics and we stand with others through the ordinary shocks and celebrations of life. And we pray. We pray for all we know and love who are ill in hospital, at, in nursing homes, or at home. Those holding vigil, awaiting test results, or recovering from procedures. The ones who are mourning recent deaths and those long since passed. And for those whose lives are becoming steady again. For families who are safe and who day by day serve you. We name Esther, Eliphaz, Eva, Lena, Richard, Raquel's, Decky's son Victor, 
Judy's sister-in-law, Mary, Creamy, Eli, Doris and Dolores's brother, Paul, Edulia's brother, Eli, Concha. And we gladly name Michael and Dean who are recovering from COVID-19 and Jamie and David who are now healed from the same. Bless with endurance all who press against the strains of this time of confinement. Be particularly close with those who cannot understand the circumstances of life these days. The very young, the very old, those with mental or psychological challenges, grant patience to all families and all caregivers, and kind God help each of us in our day-to-day -day lives to love as Jesus loved. Now bind us together in the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the people say, Amen. Bless the Lord. Let the people say, The Lord's name be praised. I know you are going to have a blessed day today because you are a beloved child of God and God has positioned you so that you might become a blessing to others. So until we pray again, be at peace.